now that we're done with the 72 well at least figuring out kind of what we have left on the 72 price wise time for the next project for me being unemployed my wife is making sure to keep me very very busy <laughs> so here i've just made the four corners for right now measured everything out got it all squared up but we're gonna put an above ground pool here like i talked about six million times in previous videos when we was talking about the house then i'm gonna build a deck out around it but i've got to make a flat area and she wants a 20 foot in diameter pool so just to make all the measurements easy because i want to put four by fours every four feet centered there all the way down and i didn't want to do 20 feet because then we've been pushing the boundaries of the pool and everything so we just went ahead and made it 24 by 24. it's crazy i was talking to somebody about this the other day that truck's done more work than my last four big diesel trucks have done it's a little 150 man <laughs> maybe as i get older i'm just wanting to do more things i guess maybe <laughs> but i will go ahead and jump into this i don't have all the materials he'll here just yet but i do have to go ahead and make sure all this is done today because someone's coming to fill it for me tomorrow and then bring in some sand so this project should only take two three days at the most but i gotta get to it so here we go for day two of the shenanigans on this little build here marked off how high the wall has to be so much taller than what we were expecting uh talk to some guys they think the way that we're building it will still be just fine uh but like i did not expect this to be three and a half feet up in the air that is for sure like went a little too much into it way over there and everything i think it could save some time and labor and wood but now that i realize how tall this thing's gonna have to be like, uh, makes me feel a little bit better taking the extra time to go a little more into it than what i needed to man yeah, I'm going to need another few hundred dollars worth of wood, that's for sure. At least. Dang. This could be tall. Like, I mean, <laughs> that's the biggest skid steer you can use, and you see how tall the dirt is compared to it that's sitting on. And then the sand that we're going to put on, the six inches of sand on top of the dirt, just to run some numbers by you, that's going to be $970 with the transport of it. It's going to be 18 tons of sand. Daddy's working, right, Dalton? Yeah. All right, you ready? What are you about to do? A blue one. Oh, yeah. All right. We got to do it quietly, okay? Secretly. Okay. No, now it's a fight zone. Fight zone? <laughs> <laughs> what? Almost got him. One final update right before the pricing. My apologies, because I just can't remember if I put it in the video. Um, but all these posts, two feet deep, concreted in. Everything's all leveled out. Since the wall ended up a little taller than what we expected, we put six by sixes in these two spots, because I already had these posts concreted, whenever I realized how tall this wall was going to be. So a couple six by six, just for a little extra support. Luckily, gravity will do a majority of the work and pulling it straight down and they'll be here in the next couple days to go ahead and pull some more clay out of our yard here so so much for the yard starting to look really good right before the pool party because they're actually digging the clay up out of the yard and then recovering it with the topsoil amounts that we've got so it'll all work out fine but that is a few more days away and the pool is on the way now let's get to the pricing all right now that we are inside i have finally calculated out the receipts and there was a few cash transactions in here and everything luckily i kept those receipts because that would have been hard to do so here's a quick rundown. Now, some of this, I'll go ahead and break it down for you a little bit better. So all the wood materials and the concrete. 
because I use a lot of quick crete. So concrete, screws, all the posts and all the 2x12s, 2x8s, 6x6s, 4x4s came out before tax because where I bought it at Lowe's I used military discount or veteran discount. So 10% off, you basically take off your tax for Tennessee. So it came out at 1113. Then the work so far that I've had done with somebody bringing their skid steer and moving all that clay in there and uh, they actually have to come back. I'm guessing that's going to cost another $600, but let's not add that in just yet. And then I've got $970 for just shy of 20 tons of sand. And then I've got my wife already ordered the pool, which that'll be a whole nother video later, but that's why we're doing a whole retaining wall here. And that was 1100 So far before adding them coming back out to put a little more clay in there and smooth out the sand and make everything level for us, I'm at $4,233, $4,233. So now the sand, the work, and the pool, that is what tax on there. The only no tax part is, uh-oh, here comes the monster. What's up, buddy? Yeah, it's recording. Oh, you gotta come join me then? You gotta come join me? Oh, since we're about to have some fun time, hmm? Mwah. Alrighty, so at after everything is said and done, I do believe we should be sitting, and this for an above ground pool, which is the rough part. Uh, and this is without building the deck I'm going to build, because we're going to build a massive deck later, but that's going to be part of the pool video. Uh, it's going to be 4,833 all said and done. I did in the extra $600 because they're a minimum of $600 for four hours, but I think they knocked it out quick because uh, part of that manual labor for the skid steer could have been a little cheaper for me so far because they did actually do some work on the land for me as well. So you could take a few hundred bucks off. Let's go ahead and call it $4,000 for the pool, the retaining wall, the $1,000 worth of sand to do six inches worth of leveling on top of all the clay, and concrete, everything. Granted, my, my wife's had to take me out to dinner a time or two, you know, to do my manual labor tax on her. But So let's say $4,000 will get you that. And I had somebody do it for roughly 3000 or under, but their wall is also a lot smaller. And they had a, a friend do the skid steer work to where they probably got a little bit better deal than I did. So, but I hope that helps you all. Uh, oh, also, sorry, go ahead and throw an extra $50 in there because I did put the plastic sheeting on the inside of that wall. Uh, I don't even have a picture of it because I actually still have to put that up. But we got to get this video done and out. So... I hope that helps. We will see here shortly how well it holds up. We'll have an update video. Uh, it'll take almost about a week because they're not going to finish for about a week with moving that dirt and everything in there. And then we got the Darth's pool party. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Stop by for the first time. Please subscribe. Have a good day. <laughs>